All right. We are live, live, live. 93.5 FM listeners, good morning to you. Facebook followers, subscribers, viewers, sharers, good morning to you. My name is Adam Handler. I'm your case handler. We are Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. We are a law firm here in Manhattan, a full service law firm nonetheless, here to provide you quality legal representation if, God forbid, you ever need us to help you, whether it's an injury case, legalizing your status here in the United States, a matrimonial matter, a criminal matter, a real estate matter, a business matter, a labor or employment matter. If you've got a legal problem, we've got a legal solution. Our show that we do every day at 9.30, usually on the dot, uh, is called Cruising with the Case Handler. And I am your case handler. And you now are officially cruising with the case handler. Today is September 8th, 2020. And just like that, the summer is over, right? We've started uh, pandemic quarantine, uh, quarantining with the case handler back in March. Then it turned into April, May, June, July, back in the office after July 4th, August, and now September. We're doing some amazing things here at the firm as we've been doing for nearly 60 years. I've been with the firm for about six. Nelson's been with the firm for what, about 12, 13 years? And Conrad took over his dad's practice 37 years ago. Dare I say, he is the most experienced, most knowledgeable, and most dedicated immigration attorney broadcasting on this station, here to answer all of your immigration questions for one 100% free of charge. All you got to do is take the number, save the number, use the number. What's our number? 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529 or easy to remember, 844-PPID law. PPID stands for Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. PPID is the name of our firm, the nickname of our firm, and the way for me to say, hey, is squeeze down with this firm, because I ask him, squeeze, are you down with PPID? Come on, you know me. Happy, happy, happy belated Labor Day to you all attorneys, and it's good to see that the Maverick is back. I see Conrad, somehow his wife got him out of bed very early. He is in the office. So I don't care what you all said about Conrad in the past that he's not a morning person, man. Obviously he is. You know, once again, everybody at 93.5 FM, as Adam noted, okay, this is a show on personal injury and immigration. I do have the personal injury attorney and the immigration attorneys. They are ready, willing, and able to answer any and all immigration questions yet to be stumped. Happens to be PPID. That's the name of the firm, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and the Seco. And we are ready to rock. We're ready to roll. Just got to say... Gentlemen, sorry, I had to jet back here and put things together. I just dropped my daughter off at Greenwich High School her first time. Okay, well, obviously, just getting into high school. So she's um, elated. She's extremely happy. And another anarchy is in Greenwich High School. So there we go. The final one. That's about it. It's almost over. It's never going to be over. But anyway, how was the Labor Day before we get into talking on personal injury and immigration, gentlemen? Good. You're right. Well, that's... That's one of the smartest things you've ever said. It is never going to be over. <laughs> never. Ever, ever. Never. My kids are in their 20s. It ain't never going to end. <laughs> never. Conrad, Conrad, you should have seen the videos that Squeeze was posting all weekend up in the club, popping magnums of Dom Perignon. Is that a My club? God. It's not, no, that was dinner. All right. That was dinner. Excuse <laughs> you know, me. I'm a responsible kind of guy. Yeah, excuse you know? me. And you God. saw the social distance, right? I do. There was social distancing, but there was, uh, you know, some nice champagne flowing. That's for sure. Well, good. You work hard, you play hard. And as long as you're doing it safe, all the best to you, brother. I'm that kind of guy. I'd rather wait a whole year and not drink or, or, you know, consume the cheap stuff and get that one good stuff, you know. But anyway, uh, so uh, what's been happening with you, Maverick? Okay, we miss you, man. We really Return of the map. Listen. Uh, again, happy birthday. Uh, I wasn't on uh, for your birthday, and I haven't seen you since, so I hope you uh, you had a great day, and I'm sure you Believe did, me. obviously. Um, I was on vacation, uh, a bit sluggish this morning, got back in yesterday, um, and looking forward to actually making it back into the office tomorrow, so uh, ready to start grinding again. 
Absolutely. What about you, Conrad? You're in the office, man. You're you're a real trooper, man. You're a real boss mode, man. You're in real boss mode, man. In the office, what's happening with you? All's well? Uh, it was a long week, and I was uh, working from home last week myself, up, upstate, and um, it's been a long week and a long weekend. I had the whole family over and just a lot of eating, and now it's back to the grindstone, getting back in shape, starting to work out more regularly, and driving into the city this morning. I mean, it was actually traffic. I saw that today would, there was more traffic getting into the office today than I've seen in the last two months since I came back here, since July. Um, so I guess that's a good sign in, 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 in the overall scheme of things that the, the city is uh, reawakening. And even looking out my window now, I'm, we're right by, uh, we're at 225 Broadway and we're overlooking the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, there's traffic. I mean, there's, uh, I see cars, I see some people walking. Uh, looks like the, the city is slowly coming back. It's not there yet, but it's definitely uh, people are reemerging from their uh, apartments and yeah. uh, good sign. And and uh, something to make note of, and I, I saw the research come out the other day, uh, you know, car accidents are up. You know, during the pandemic, there was nearly um, a 80% drop in, in traffic accidents and uh, it is only continuing to go up. So it's extremely important that everybody out there um, that can safely do so now or later on, make sure they save our number because God forbid you are in a car accident. Because you're never going to expect it, right? That's when disaster strikes. And we'll, we'll talk a little bit about it later in the show. But you, you never know when that's going to happen. And now that more people are commuting and back on the roads and unfortunately driving faster. I saw some research as well that, you know, uh, traffic speeds are up nearly 16% here in New York City. Um, so even though there could be less volume, there's people driving uh, at a higher rate of speed, less reaction time, pedestrians are getting killed motorcyclists are getting killed, um, bicyclists are getting killed. In fact, we have more um, pedestrian, bicyclist, and motorcycle deaths in 2020 right now than we had in all of 2019. So please, please, please be careful out there. You know, Be aware of your surroundings, but have our number saved if God forbid you're ever in that situation. Our phone number is 844-774-3529 or 844-PPID-LAW. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Cruising with a Case Handler, that's the voice of Adam Handler, okay? He's the most celebrated personal injury attorney on this station, and the reason why he's speaking about accidents, it's because he's your accident attorney. He is your personal injury attorney. And of course, he gets those calls even when he's on holiday like he did over the weekend. It's very important that you reach out to your attorney once you have sought medical attention. If you ever get hurt in an accident, Okay, you want to reach out to Adam Handler. And his number, as noted before, is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Every person that is actually listening right now, I would appreciate it if you store that number because I know one day you will need it in some capacity. And you have a full-service law firm, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and Nesico, that can handle all of your legal matters. So call him at 844 844- Seven seven four three five two nine. Before we get back to a true success story shortly, um, let's just um, talk about. We had a bunch of calls over the weekend, and I noticed that PPID was really, 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 really kicking up a storm and making sure that all of those calls got tended to. So, kudos to you, uh, Conrad and Adam, for lighting it up, making sure that got done. So, I want to say thanks to um, the folks who call in about their immigration questions and setting their appointments to speak with one of the attorney. What's well, the latest? Also, um, it's, it's, it's a, let me throw a shout out to our staff, mm-hmm. our staff members, Wanda Benitez and uh, Tatiana Pinto, who field the calls on a weekend. You know, it's Labor Day weekend, and they're actually at the phones and they're calling people back. And, you know, it's, a, it's an indication of the dedication that we have at our firm to our clients. Definitely respect it. And um, the listeners do appreciate it because, uh, you know, they... They always want to get their questions answered, you know, or set their consultation, but at least they get a live body. And that's very important. So we appreciate what PPID is doing and giving free phone consultations. All right. Free phone consultations. All right. So before we uh, ask Adam to speak on one of his true success story here on Testimonial Tuesday, 
It's testimonial Tuesday, right? Adam, it I is testimonial know. Tuesday. I don't know if uh, okay. everybody here in this firm realizes it, but yes, it is testimonial Tuesday. Just want to make sure, you know, that you're on point. You know, before we actually do that, any, any immigration updates, anything came up over the weekend you want to touch on, Conrad Nelson, in reference to that capacity? Uh, I, I, you know, the, 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 Trump hasn't been very vocal about immigration policy in general lately. You know, he's too busy, you know, re-election, calling people names, saying how, you know, you got to re-elect me in order to stop the violence that's occurring during my term. I, I love it. You know, every time I hear it, hey, you know, when Biden gets elected, if Biden gets elected, it's going to be total chaos. Re-elect me and I'll stop the chaos. It's okay. Why, why don't you stop it now? If you're already in office, stop it. Mm. Right? While he's on, while he's on undermining our military personnel. Right? But anyway, oh. that story, that's, a, that's a conversation for another day. Mm. All right? uh, um, one of the things that we need to bring up, though, which is extremely important, is that filing fees are going up. So okay. people really need to understand that this is not the year where you want to, you, you know, we don't even have enough monies to take care of... Um, the basic necessities. So you need to actually, if you're going to file, now is the time to file. Filing fees are going up. It's it's going to be ridiculous. I don't know all the numbers and Conrad and Nelson can talk to you more on that. But if you're filing for your citizenship, you're filing a case, make sure you reach out to PPID and get them to start your case now. I can't say it enough. Make that call. Some of the filing fees for like naturalization is what, Conrad? Right now, uh, to file a naturalization application until October 2nd, when fees go up, it's a total of $725. That includes the um, fingerprint fee. It's going up to roughly $1,400. I forget the exact number. It's going to be almost double what it is currently in a month. Uh, and that applies to a lot of different applications. I went 30s are going up a couple hundred dollars a month. Uh, 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 for each application, uh, I-45s are going to stay the same for adjustment of status, going to stay roughly the same, but now you're going to have to pay separately for work authorization, which is another $500 per application. I mean, fees are going up substantially. So people, file your cases before October 2nd. Wow. Absolutely. And uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, now is the time to do it. Call the firm, get a free phone consultation, 844-774-3529. 844-774-3529. When you call that number, you can ask for Nelson Madreda, a.k.a. Ada Maverick. You can ask for Conrad Pollock. You can ask for Alexandra Bondakov. You can ask for Andrea Yee and all the other attorneys there. They're willing to answer your questions for free. However, the important thing is make sure you retain them right after you speak with them. Extremely important. They're about to get extremely busy. So you want to make sure that you squeeze up on intended yourself in there. Call them now, 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. All right. So Adam Adler. My brother. I'm about to kick it over to you before I pour some questions on Nelson and yeah. Conrad. Let's do it. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we shared some uh, very, very uh, exciting news last week. I believe it was Friday. I can't remember which day it was specifically, but we, uh, you know, we hit $18 million this year um, for case handler recoveries, which is, uh, you know, pretty, pretty substantial considering we're uh, only really doing it with a Wi-Fi connection. You know, the courts are still physically closed. They are doing Zoom conferences in a similar format to, to what we're, we're doing right now on this show. And people listening on 93.5 FM, if you can do so now or later, you know, check out PPID and Case Handler on Facebook and Instagram. You'll be connected um, to the live show by way of social media. You'll also be connected to what we're doing here at the firm. And we post uh, true life success stories, you know, real people, real problems, real situations being handled, and real money, you know, life-changing money for life-changing uh, injuries. And, and that's what we do here. Uh, one case specifically we can talk about real quick. You know, a big part of it um, is a case we worked on a couple of years ago, but a very, very important case that I don't think we discussed on, uh, on the show recently. And, and that was a case involving um, a Bronx man that was uh, rear-ended um, by an Aaron's furniture truck. That's the, uh, the rental company that, that, that delivers you know, rental furniture, whether it's couches or stuff like that. And he's out at the light, minding his own business, and bam, truck rear-ends him. And that's exactly what I'm talking about, uh, that you never know when an accident is going to happen. You never know when disaster is going to strike. 
But this gentleman had our number saved in his phone from listening to us for years and years and years on the radio. And I'm glad that he called and I'm, I think he'll be glad as well. This is the case that did go to trial and did take a jury verdict. Let me uh, give you that quote, Squeeze, if you wouldn't mind reading it for me. Absolutely. Everything was a 10. I had a direct contact to Adam 24 seven. You don't always have this type of ability with other lawyers. That is so true. I had other cases, Adam handled it and he did great in, in with those as well. Everything he promised he would do is done to the maximum. I recommend him to the world. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and he is an awesome guy. Uh, we still keep in touch, even though the case was several years ago. And look at this result. Look at that jury at verdict, baby. $831,803.85. Like I say, not a penny more, not a penny less. He had outstanding medical bills, uh, lost time from work, and of course, the pain and suffering. And the jury did the calculations based on the evidence I presented to them and came up with $831,803.85. Um, so he got full, full justice, full compensation. What I really loved about this case, though, um, was that the insurance company uh, only offered uh, at the very, very end $500,000. When I say only, listen, half a million dollars is a ridiculous amount of money. I get it. Tax free as well. But when you believe that the case is worth more than 500000 and the evidence is going in well, and you're literally kicking their ass at trial, you got to go with your gut. You got to go with your experience. And we said, no, thank you. We said no to 500000 We said, let the jury decide. And the jury came up with 831, 803.85. So another 300 and $31,000 in my client's pocket because we had the confidence in our case that it went in well, that the jury understood it. I remember during this trial, the jury started nodding their head every time I spoke. So I knew that they were getting it. I knew they were understanding. And every time the defendant insurance company spoke, they would smile or smirk or look at each other. So I knew it was game on. I knew we can get much more than $500,000. And I don't want to say it's a gamble, but it was a calculated risk because listen, the jury could have come back with less, but I sat down with my client. We went through it for hours and hours as to what to do. He said, Adam, let's go for it. I believe in you. I believe in your skills and you believe in my case. And that was a wonderful, wonderful result. Jury verdicts, nothing more powerful than that because you're essentially you know, convincing six strangers to award your client money to compensate them for their injuries in that one and only chance he had. There was no reduce for this guy. This guy couldn't come back years later and say, I got more medical bills or I'm still out of work, I need more money. We had to get the jury to give the maximum amount the first and only time that he was able to bring that case to trial. One chance to get it right. He had one choice of attorney. He chose the case handler. He chose Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, DeSico. And I'm sure you can tell he was very happy he did so. Absolutely, and the number. Everyone out there, store the number for the accident attorney, the case handler. Store the number for the man who's go after them with the big guns. Right now, the number for PPID, the number for the case handler is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. And if you would like to get yourself, ladies and gentlemen, also you know, a free consultation, yes, on personal injury. Maybe you got into an accident recently. You want to ask some questions for free? Call Adam Handler right now, 844-774-3529. Everyone tuning in also on immigration as I'm about to switch to it, all right? Everyone who wants a free immigration consultation, call this number before the top of the hour, 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Seven seven four three five two nine, and get yourself that free immigration consultation or get yourself Adam Handler will take no money from you to start your case. Just make sure you make the link with him. 844-774-3529. Switching to immigration right now. Uh, one for you, um, Maverick. Okay. Uh, let's uh, get you this one. Hello. I would like to know if it is mandatory to have insurance coverage for new immigrants. In that case, what is the procedure to get the coverage? Like, wow. Uh, very interesting question, but I don't think it, uh, let you guys answer, answer that one. Mm. 
<laughs> right. I, I'm not uh, wonder- Conrad. I don't, I mean, I think, uh, you know, I think that's changed. I don't know. I think he's referring to, um, you know, if you don't have health care insurance, I think you have to pay a penalty when you filed your taxes. But if you're here illegally and you have no status, you're technically not supposed to be working. And if you're not supposed to be working, uh, you know, I'm not sure that you are. I, I don't I can't answer that question, actually. I, I don't know how to answer that question, Conrad. I'm sorry. Say the question again. It seemed kind of vague to me. Right. Yeah, it is. It says, hello, I would like to know if it is mandatory to have insurance coverage. Well, assuming he's talking about health insurance, because there are quite a few different types of insurance, let's assume for argument's sake that he's talking about health insurance. There is no mandatory requirement that somebody have health insurance uh, in order to get, it's certainly, it's one of the factors involved, uh, but there is no mandatory requirement that somebody have health insurance in order to get the green card. Okay, gotcha. All right, you know, another- David, David, I'm sorry, just to interject for, for a quick second. Mm-hmm. You know, um, while I was on vacation, I, I saw you sent uh, Adam Conrad and I a text uh, from someone who went to another law firm who basically the case got assigned to another lawyer and the person was unhappy. And, you know, and I just want to mention and point that out. I mean, this is something Adam talks about continuously, you know, at PPID, you know, Adam goes to court, Adam meets with clients. You know, I go to court, I meet with clients, I represent clients, you know, it's not a marketing ploy. You know, you don't come in thinking you're going to get A and then all of a sudden we're going to give you B or C. Um, pretty much what you see is what you get. And, um, you know, I think that's what differentiates us and separates us from many other law firms. You know, also something we say repeatedly, you know, um, we don't really take a case that we don't believe in. You know, we don't tell you what you want to hear. We tell you the truth. And, um, you know, I think that's very, very important because we set realistic expectations for our clients. So I just wanted to get that out there. Got you. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, okay, we are here cruising with the case handler, personal injury and immigration law. That's the voice of Nelson Madrid. We call him the Maverick. And he's um, the, the top man there when it comes to, of course, dealing with removal proceedings. So I say if you have ever been arrested and you're filing for immigration benefits, you need to go exclusively to PPID and ask for a Nelson Madrid, 844-774-3529. Yes, Conrad. Speaking of which, Dave, um, actually Nelson and I, we exchanged emails about this this weekend. Um, apparently ICE uh, had a target, uh, targeted um, various raids around New Jersey over the past, I don't know, it was the last couple of weeks, Nelson. Supposedly 70, was it 77 people who rounded up in New Jersey? Correct. Wow. Um, um, and of course, the way ICE frames it, they were all criminals. They're all convicted, you know, rape and murderers and and grand larcenists and all, they didn't mention, you know, the more than half of the people that were picked up with dishwashers or housekeepers or landscapers. They forgot to mention that. I guess it was just an oversight on their part. But there were these um, uh, raids across New Jersey and a lot of people were picked up. And if any of those people or their relatives are listening uh, at the moment, uh, you know, give us a call. That's something that we, in particular, the, the Maverick is real good at. Uh, Mm -hmm. He he is very good at representing people. Our firm is very good at representing people that are in removal proceedings. And these these 77 people were just picked up in New Jersey on these raids. And apparently there are more coming. You know, an election is is in the offing. And this is uh, the administration and Trump's way of showing, again, how tough he is on on immigrants. Um, You should give us a call. That's something we are particularly good at, very well skilled at. We have skilled attorneys handling those types of cases pretty much on a daily basis. Gotcha. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, cruising with a case handler. We're speaking on immigration right now. Uh, dial the number. Uh, you're watching us, listening to us on the radio. 844-774-3529. Speak with them in Lent in reference to your situation or case. All right. And then hire them afterwards. The consultation initially is absolutely free. 844-774-3529. Let's get to a, another question here before we get to the top. All right. Uh, my wife had a two-year green card through marriage. Her card expired in 2019. We applied for 10 GC, and instead of 10 years GC, she got extended docs for 18 months. 
since May 2019, our case status says case is ready to be scheduled for an interview, but not interview schedule yet. Is this normal? And I read that verbatim. So well, like, she, what it is, is um, they did a marriage case. Uh, the person who immigrated to the United States married a U.S. citizen, and they were married for less than two years. So they got a conditional card, uh, which is valid for two years itself. They applied for the permanent card. That's the 10 year GC that he refers to. Um, right. It's still pending. A case like that takes a year and a half. Uh, to, to get to, to resolve. Now, the fact that they're going to be scheduled for an interview tells me that the couple did not submit sufficient document documentary evidence of the marriage, of the bona fides of the marriage, to warrant an approval by mail. That's why they're getting called for an interview. Uh, at those interviews, anything can happen. Uh, and by the way, if you don't pass that interview, you will be put, the, the immigrant whose card expired will be placed in removal proceedings. You'll have an opportunity at that point to apply again before an immigration judge. Uh, situation like that, call us. That is, not the type of, that is not the type of thing you want to uh, do yourself. They've, these people have obviously been doing the case on their own since it started. Um, they now have an interview, which they shouldn't have because that, that's a rare situation when an interview is scheduled. That's, like I said, they didn't submit enough documentation and that's why they're being scheduled. Uh, the interview will probably be scheduled soon. Immigration is back up and running um, and I imagine they'll be scheduled soon. Um, you need a lawyer for that interview. Don't don't play around with that because if you get denied at the interview, you get placed in removal proceedings pretty much as a matter of course. It's rude. And the, right. the, extension, the extension is just basically a result of the pendency of their case. So because their case is pending, they've gotten this temporary extension. Um, but obviously that can all change after the interview. Either the case will be approved or it'll get denied. As soon as they file the application, the extension comes in by mail. The receipt, act, the receipt for the filing of the 751 is actually the extension, the year and a half extension. So right. that's automatic. Okay. Let me get in a number here as we get to the top of the hour. I wanna say once again to each and every one tuning in, I do appreciate you, we do appreciate you. This is a full service law firm, ladies and gentlemen. So no matter what area of law you need someone to help you with, reach out to the firm. Yes, we profess personal injury. Yes, we profess immigration. But there are other departments, ladies and gentlemen, criminal defense, family law, real estate law, business law, the whole lot. So make sure you call them now. Store the number 844-774-3529. Get that free phone consultation. 844-774-3529. 844-774-3529. That's 844-PPID-LAW. All right. So we are at the top. And uh, we'll continue with some more immigration questions before we kick it back over, over to Adam Handler to top it off for us on personal injury. Let's get to one more here as we get back into the throes of everything that we do here. All right. What's the best option for a new application's Okay, hold on. Hello, everyone. I got, I'm reading, they got three parts of this question. Hello, everyone. I've got two questions which I cannot find the answers. One, do you know what happens if you're still waiting for your fiance spousal visa while getting a job which offers an H-1B visa? Two, what's the best option for new applications in current situation, K-1, K-3, or CR-1, U.S. citizen living abroad? Before you all answer that question, why is it people don't just call the, call PPID, have a consultation, and then deal with you guys? Because you, you're going with, with all these questions. I'm not beating up anyone, but guys, you're going deep with these questions when you can just call the firm, speak to someone, and they'll advise you accordingly, and then you retain them. But go ahead. In answer to the first part of the question, um, actually, what, tell me the first part of the question. Again. Do you know what happens if you're still waiting for right. your- Right, the K and the Right, here's well, the get out. First, First off, let's assume best case scenario, this person is eligible for an H-1B visa. That's a professional work visa. Somebody with a college degree typically is offered a professional visa, uh, a, professional, a professional position here in the United States by a US employer. Let's assume that they qualify for the H-1. Best case scenario, they apply, H-1Bs are subject to a quota, an annual quota of 85,000 visas per year. They apply for the visa April 1st, 2021. They cannot apply before that. If it's approved, they'll be able to start working on October 1st, 2021. So you apply for the H-1, maybe you're here in a year, all right, October 1st. K-1, depends how quickly, or if it's already pending. A K-1 typically for a fiance typically takes about a year. Now, of course, the consulates have been closed. How far backlog they are, I don't know, but they've been given recent, recently there was a notice that K-1s have been given priority. My guess is 
if you have a K1 pending already, stick with it. The H1, you can always do it next year. If for some reason your fiance is not here by April, go ahead and file your H1. But that you're gonna need a lawyer for. I would suggest you give us a call if it comes to that. But my guess is if the fiance petition was done correctly and it's been pending already for a while, you'll the K1 visa will come through long before the H1 will. You know, and, and just to add, um, and a lot of people don't realize this or don't think about it. When you start any one of these processes on your own, there is a file. So immigration knows the history, okay? So whether you go forward with it or not, there is a paper trail. So immigration will see obviously multiple different applications filed on your behalf. And this could be to your detriment, okay? So it's, in my opinion, important to get it right the first time. You know, Conrad, I haven't really seen you in a while, but I've gotten several phone calls from people who entered the United States on a K-1 visa, which is a fiance visa, and ended up breaking up with their fiance are now with someone else and want to, you know, want to try to adjust their status. Uh, good it's, luck. It, not it, it's, it's not that simple, right? It's not, not that simple. Right. It's, it's impossible. If you enter, that's a good point, Nelson. I'm glad you brought that up. If you come in as a, as a come in on a K-1 visa, K-1 is a fiance visa, the fiance, the intended fiance of a U.S. citizen. If you come on that fiance visa, you come here, you must marry within 120 days, uh, within 90 days. That K-1 is valid for 120 days. You must marry the U.S. citizen who sponsored you within 90 days. If you don't, if you say, you know what, I'm here now, I don't need this guy. There's a lot better out there. I could find a guy who looks like Adam Handler. I don't need to find, go out. With, <laughs> like, I don't need this fiance of you mine. Be so like, yeah, right? What happens? He marries somebody. This person marries somebody else. Right. No good. You cannot get your green card unless you marry the person who sponsored you for that fiance visa. So That's you're you're locked up that one requirement. requirement. Right. And it's the only visa like that. If you marry anybody wow. else or don't marry and try to do something else, you are not going to get your visa. And these days you're going to end up in removal proceedings. Wow. That's pretty serious there. All yep. right. All right. Tell the ladies not to go for Adam Handler, especially if they got a key one, key one visa with someone yeah, else. Look, unfortunately, you got to stick with the guy who looks like the Maverick. <laughs> and maybe, maybe in the next life, yeah, you, you, next life, you end up with the case handler. Listen, or the, uh, if the guy looked like the Maverick, it's unlikely she would be going anywhere. I mean, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> anyway, here's a final question. This one is pretty long, and uh, you know, Wait, there was uh, another red right, squeeze. There was another part that another question. Um, oh yeah, the other part was, um, what's the best option for new applications in the current situation? K one, K three, or PR one. Uh, forget the K one. All right, K ones to get a K one takes about a year. If you're a U.S. citizen applying for your wife, it also takes about a year. If you're going to do, if you can get married, if you can go to the person's country, marry them, file the I-130, and get them the green card, you can do the K-1. If for some reason you can't get them, you can't get there married. Forget the K-3. That's just a waste of time. I don't even know why that category exists. Waste of time. Forget the K-3. That's a married fiance applying for a green card. Just forget that. Not an option. Um, but unless you can't get there and marry. I would say go to your per, go to your fiance's country, marry, and apply for the green card. The process it's processing the same time as the fiance visa to get the green card. Plus, you do it once. If you do the fiance visa, it takes a year to get it. They come here, you got to get married, then you got to file for adjustment of status. It's another year, year and a half, and a lot more money. There you go. All right, this one is pretty long. All right, so let's do this once again, ladies and gentlemen. Cruising with the case handler, a show on personal injury and immigration. Call them eight four four. P-P-I-D-L-A-W. Uh, let's see here. Uh, hi, I have a girlfriend in Haiti and I am trying to get her to the U.S. I was first going to do the fiancé visa, but I did some research and it says that it will be difficult if I have a violent record, which I do. And it was a third degree battery and I went to prison for it. Long story short, the other route they told me to go is to get her a tourist visa and she can come for six months but there's a process. The only time she has to go back to Haiti is her family and school. She's unemployed and has no bank account, so her funds are low. Currently, I have a place of my own in the U.S. and a job, but no real savings in my bank account. Stop, because stop, <laughs> stop, stop, stop. First off, she's not getting a tourist visa. All right? You can go and apply. All right? There is no downside. Go apply for the, two, the, the tourist visa at the, at the consulate in Port-au-Prince. If they're open, I think they're, they, re, they reopened recently. Um, good luck. All right, go in there, you know, cross your fingers, whatever you got to do. 
right? <laughs> but the fact is, you are not getting a tourist visa in that scenario in Port-au-Prince. Okay, I can pretty much assure you, right? right. So otherwise, as far as the the violent nature of the U.S. citizen who's a look, does she know how violent you are? <laughs> I mean, uh, that might be an issue, Nelson. You know, you know, absolutely, it is an issue um, because basically that would automatically disqualify him for petitioning for a fiance tend to the United States. Um, now, th there's also a couple of other issues in there as well, right? Which is hypothetically, if she did get the tourist visa, you know, she enters, was she going to marry him? You know, then there goes to immigrant intent. You know, was it to enter, you know, temporary to visit or was it to there actually? Is, Nelson, there is no. I know, I know. But, you know, I mean, listen, play devil's advocate here. She's not working. She's got no money. She's got no prospects. They're going to give her a tourist visa and hate no. her. It's just not happening. Right. She'll be lucky they even let her in the door. And, and look, speaking of tourist visa, typically you have to show ties, right? right. So let's be clear. Let's, let's talk about someone who is eligible. You know, typically you want to show that you have a business, you own assets, you own property, um, you have money in the bank, in Haiti waiting for you. a good job back in Haiti waiting for you that, you know, again, your trip in the United States would be temporary in nature, um, that you're not coming here to work, you know, that uh, if someone is inviting you that that person has money, that that person owns property, that, you know, that person has money in the bank to support you during your stay in the United States. And also it's discretionary. And obviously all of these factors play into the discretionary decision of the officer interviewing you. Okay. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the show is called Cruising with a Case Handler, Personal Injury Immigration. And you can see the emphasis from Conrad and Nelson on this situation, on that question. Listen, call the law office, 844-774-3529. You have questions, get that free phone consultation, 844-774-3529. Three, five, two, nine. With that said, we're going to switch it to Adam Handler, who is the man who heads up the personal injury department at Pollock Pollock Isaac and Mexico PPID. I'm a little bit upset with him because he didn't ask me if I was down, but that's okay. I did. Wait, he did the, at the it, beginning it, of the show, man. It, you know what? He didn't ask the right way. Got to ask the right way. You know, <laughs> got to ask it the right way, man. Squeeze. Uh, you down with PPID? Did I and not I do that, Nelson? Did I not do that? I thought you did, yeah. but but you know what he's saying? Yeah, you did, you didn't have as much gusto. You know, yes. normally yeah. you know, normally you you kind of get into it. You're like, hey, squeeze, I got a question for you. You got exactly. the ID. Right. Yeah, I want it like that. Well, you, know? you know what? You know, let let Nelson ask it then. <laughs> if he does it better, Nelson, why don't you right. ask Squeeze who he's down with? Hey, Squeeze, I got a question for you. Uh -huh. You down with PPID? Come on, Nelson. You know me. <laughs> See, that's how it's got to be done. <laughs> you know? All right, all right. Everybody's down with PPID. Come on. I mean, look, I've spoken with so many attorneys since this year started from one firm, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. And they're throwing them down. So everybody's got to be down with us. When it comes to the questions, they're being knocked out. You know, last week I said, yeah, and it's never stumped yet. And Conrad took it personal. I was like, nope, never stumped, ever, you know? So I want everybody to understand. Reach out to PPID, 844-774-3529. Adam, I'll let you tail it off, man. Listen, my brother, we are uh, ba get it back to getting normal. Uh, we're back to uh, the normal routine. Traffic is getting heavier. Uh, people are going back to school, back to work. Things happen. You know, you can't say the word uh, SH, you know what, but... Uh, right. That stuff happens, doo-doo happens, and accidents happen when you least expect them to happen. But the only way you can truly prepare for an accident and the so sometimes horrific results of that accident, injury, bills, lost time out of work, is to protect you and protect your family by having our number saved, right? That's the only way you will be connected to our law firm. We don't hang out at the emergency rooms. We don't run up to you at the scene of the accident. Doctors aren't slipping you our business card. Unless you call us, we won't know that you need our help. I can't stress that enough. And if you want an attorney that's gonna treat your case like it's their most important case, you want an attorney that's gonna go for the maximum award, just like I did for Jamie in that trial several years ago in the Bronx. You want an attorney that's got the you know what to turn down a half a million dollars 
when that attorney, yours truly, the case handler, knows that's not enough, and then the jury comes back with 831,000, you'll have our number saved. If that's not important to you, and you want to go with whoever uh, you know comes up to you at the scene of the accident, or is, whoever is being recommended by your family or friend because they used them before, then I wish you the best of luck. Otherwise, if you're smart, 844-774-3529, 844-774-3529, a full service law firm, answering your questions for 100% free, no risk to you at all, no reason why you shouldn't be connected with who you believe, who Squeeze believes, who every other broadcaster on this radio station believes to be the best possible attorney for your case. Paul Paul Isaac DeSico, Adam Handler, the case handler, the, Ma the Maverick, the, uh, the Maestro, the Boss Lady, the Closer. What do we call Pinto? The Hammer. The, the Hammer. Okay. That's who you want representing you. That's who you want representing your family. Think about it. Choose your weapons carefully, ladies and gentlemen. Have that number saved, 844-774-3529 or 844-PPID-Law. You know, and just, just to, again, I, I want to emphasize this. You know, Adam does go to court. Adam is not going to pass your case on to someone else. Yep. You know, I, Adam will actually sit down and meet with you. Adam will talk to you if you call him right now you know, and be personally involved, you know, meet with you personally, go to court with you personally. I mean, it's a completely different environment, the environment in which we practice and in the way we conduct our business. Absolutely. And what I want to add, Adam, and you can take uh, 60 seconds to emphasize on this. Don't drive around without insurance. Oh, Don't ride around without insurance. All right. Yeah. <laughs> You know, <laughs> it's it, it just, it just complicated. Even when the accident is not your fault, the lack of uh, lack of having insurance on your end truly, truly can destroy your case because usually it's your insurance pursuant to New York no fault laws is your insurance that pays the medical bill. You go after the other car for the injury, but your car pays your medical bills, their car pays their medical bills. And if your medical bills can't get paid, you can't get the treatment you need. If you can't get the treatment you need, we can't prove the injury and the extent of the injury we need to be successful for you. So without medical treatment, you are absolutely toast in a personal injury case. Up the creek without a paddle. Absolutely. And leaving the scene of the accident, another very, very imprudent thing to do, especially you know if, if you're not at fault because... When you leave, what do you think the other car is going to say? Well, then you are at fault. You want the police there. You want the accident to be documented in the way it happened. You want to set the narrative. You want your story told if you are in the right. Take the photographs. See if you can get a witness. There's cameras usually in the area that we can get. Wait for the cops. Call the cops. You leave the scene of the accident, you pretty much kissed away any possibility uh, at financial justice. Absolutely. There you go. Gentlemen, thank you so much for a great show as per usual. And we will do this again tomorrow morning at 930. It's been great. And um, any final words before we sign off? Conrad, Howdy. want to say something? You good, Conrad? Uh, I'm real good. Good show right. today. Uh, woke me up. Now I go have my first cup of coffee. <laughs> All right. No problem. Everyone take care. Have yourself an amazing day. It's a great Tuesday. The rest of the week is going to be beautiful. So make sure you reach out to PPID because I'm down with them. So you should be 844-774-3529. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll talk soon. Okay, one second here.